Ever wish there was one number to call for any question you have about the city of McAllen? That might soon become a reality. A 311 type call center is being developed inside the EOC as part of a six month pilot program. A team of experienced city employees from a handful of city departments supervised by Neo Canales is fielding calls from the public. Most is for paying a bill or for having their trash picked up. We've gotten several of them for the alarm division that they've received an invoice. Um, we've also received um, calls for Christmas during the, the Christmas web programs we have for the New Year's, for the events, what's going on, what, when it, does it start, if they want to participate, um, their taxes, where do they pay for it, where are they located. So we have to be the ones knowing where to direct them. I think it's going to work out great and we're going to end up maybe needing more personnel in here. Thank you for calling City of McAllen. This is Liz. How can I help you? According to these skilled information experts, 20% of the calls are from Spanish speakers. The goal for everyone is to offer top-notch quality service without having any caller transferred several times. People are busy. They're working. They have their jobs. They have their families, things they need to do. But everybody pretty much has a cell phone. Everybody has a phone at home. And when a problem comes up, what do I do? Here's instantaneous feedback. This project so far is a brainchild of the IT department, public information office, the traffic department, and public works. I think this program is a great uh, initiative to help us improve on uh, communication. I think effective communication is, is a very critical and essential part in delivering uh, customer service or our public service that we offer. In McAllen, people aren't complaining about the services we provide. They're complaining about they can't get the right information when they call about the services that we provide. And so I think this is going to be a benefit both to the community and to our organization. Um, it's been a lot of years where we've been trying to put the infrastructure, the video wall that you see behind me, um, communication to our controllers, cameras out uh, at intersections. So the next component is to be able to have citizens call in and tell us that they're having an issue at an intersection and us to be able to respond to it uh, immediately and more effectively. The model for this 311 type call center is still being carved out. In the near future, more department calls will be forwarded here. And at the end of six months, if this new venture is sustainable, McAllen would become the first city in South Texas to adopt a full-time call center. I guess we're one step ahead. Um, it's better for the city of McAllen. You know, maybe eventually this is gonna, you know, shoot up and the other cities will learn from us. And it's good to say we've been the first. We are the first. I don't know many cities that would take the time, the effort to put in, you know, put in a call center, one thing. No, a help center. Let's solve your problems now. Okay, that's something special. I'm Ray Pedraza on the McAllen Cable Network.